Teacher Jennifer Mitz says that she was forced to resign from Red Bank High School after she took a sick student to the doctor and then paid for the bill because the student was uninsured. Now, apparently, uh, the school officials dictated to her, this is what she says, uh, what I should write in the resignation letter, including forcing me to waive my right to a hearing. Now, uh, apparently, she has done this on two different occasions, and the district was annoyed with her because apparently they have a strict policy against that. You are not allowed to take a student to the doctor, even if you get the parent's permission. Now, the student in question had some serious issues, okay? She had a temperature of 105 degrees, pneumonia, a kidney infection, a bladder infection. She was also seven months pregnant. Jesus. I should also note that the student was 18 years old. This is a high school, obviously. And uh, the school says, you know what, we're not, we didn't force her to f quit, okay, she quit on her own. However, this is a liability issue. Here's an exact statement from the assistant superintendent. It's a liability issue, it's an issue of insubordination after doing something you were officially warned not to do and doing it again. So, of course, don't use human judgment, don't be human. If you see someone who's suffering, you just let them suffer because that's against our policy, okay? We don't want you to be insubordinate. You, we don't want you to question our authority. So sit down and do what we tell you to do. See, you remember that case we covered with the fire department, that, uh, fireman that refused to go across the street and save the elderly guy's life? Mm -hmm. um, they said, no, no, it would violate the rules. You know, the reason they did that, uh, out of many, is that because there's bosses like this in the world, mm -hmm. like these Tennessee administrators who say, I don't care whose life's at stake, I don't care if that woman's life is at stake, or by the way, her baby's life is at stake, right? Well, Republicans across the country must be livid that uh, the administrators are in Tennessee putting the fetus's life, I mean, regular human beings, who gives a damn, but there was a fetus involved, right? Mm -hmm. So putting all that in jeopardy, I don't care. What's much more important to me is that you never violate, you don't even go one, inch beyond what I have told you, my directives, okay? And, and, she, and so now she's, that's it, she lost her job. And oh yeah, she voluntarily gave, no, they pressured her to resign, mm -hmm. of course they did. She, they, it's not like she walked in and everybody's like, hey, great job, you're an American hero, way to save her life. And she's like, oh, I resign. No, they're like, how dare you violate our rules? And remember, she went beyond taking this 18-year-old to the hospital, she paid the bill. Oh my God. This is a teacher. We're not talking about like a CEO of some big company. We're talking about an underpaid public school teacher who's helping a student out with her medical issues. No, wow. she's like in the old days, she would have been an American hero. <laughs> now she's fired. I mean, this is bureauc uh, bureaucracy run amok. And it's, this is why we have zero tolerance policies, because people don't want to use human judgment, because then they get fired. They lose their livelihood because of this. For God's sake, somebody hire her. I mean, a private school something, someone, right? Because this is a crime against humanity that, that she's lost her job for this. Mm -hmm. She did it once before, too. That's why yeah. they gave her a warning. You saved someone's life before. We're not going to let you do it again. How dare you be insubordinate?